Hey there, a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now. The Renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate that, my friends. Enjoy the show. Hey there, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I'm Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back with... Hey, one of the greatest roguelikes of all time. And, of course, if you do enjoy my content, oh, hey, don't be wasting my time. Go, go, go. It's a simple little click for you. The like button down below. Hey, not only helps myself out. Hey, you get to know you've done something nice as well. And, uh, hey, like I so, said, if you enjoy the content, you have done the other content, this content, hey. It's always appreciated. We're going to run as Paradox, though. And again, just in case you're not familiar with Enter the Gungeon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've missed out. This is a full save file. We've got everything unlocked. So, say you ran a new game, this would be a vastly different experience, and you'd probably have a little bit of a struggle bus going, going through the floors. However, me as a three-time world record streaker of this game, still to this day, I don't think anyone's beaten my world record streaks of some of the hardest... No, not actually some of... Just the hardest modes in Enter the Gungeon. But, of course, we start off in hard mode, basically, by giving ourselves nine curse. Oh, we've got flight straight away. Now, it's been a long time. It's probably been about a year or so since I played Enter the Gungeon. But we've got Pox Cannon, which, hey, it's not a bad weapon. It throws out toxic t-shirts. Again, I've always found this is a more concise and, you know, nicely, uh, give me a sec, nicely kind of tidier game than something like Isaac, which is just, uh, it just got update after update after update, and, you know. So, me getting this curse gives us nine curse. We're one away from getting some jammed dude following us around for the rest of the run. But, we'll find little red dudes who have three times the amount of HP. They do double damage as well. Hearts in the top left. The red, the, the red shots do a full heart's worth of damage. The regular shots, those shots, do half a heart. But we just, you know, clear the floors as we go along. We can flip tables to block bullets. We can dodge roll to dodge over bullets as well. And we pick up weapons and our loadout as we go across. And, hey. But again, it's about that time, hey, chaps. We get back on some nice little variety. Nice. Uh, but one of the best ways of kind of utilizing what you have in this game is to be able to change weapons consistently. Inst like, you know the whole cliche of, hey, don't reload, pick out your sidearm, right? That actually really goes strong in this game. So again, three times the HP. Some of the dudes, and of course, we've got these little things we can drop as well. But this weapon poisons the enemy, causing a hell of a lot of tick damage. Over time... And again, we'll uh, see about going to the secret floors. It's been a long while since I played the game, so we're going to be very rusty. But I do find Enter the Gungeon like riding a bike. I do feel like we're going to, you know, be all right. Of course, there's going to be some things that my, some of my timing's going to be off. But I feel like everything, you know, will work out okay. And dodge roll through those little blobs. And we'll see what weapons we can get. We'll see what money we can get. We get shells. Those things that we just got there. Top left hand corner. We've got 49 shells at the moment. That's currency. We've got one key. Those blue things in the top left hand corner are blanks. You'll see those come into play later. They, if we, oh, hello. If we press both sticks in on my controller, we will remove every, yeah, take this. Wee! Yeah. We'll remove every bullet off screen within a, certain radius, a large radius that is. We can fly as well. We've got wings because we've up uh, we're paradox. We start with a completely random loadout, two random weapons. One of the weapons is a starting weapon from one of the main characters, and the other is a completely random weapon for any any gun in the game. It's um again a beautiful beautiful game. And it's great to be back. Hope you've all had a yeah, an amazing day. I'm glad you can join me here for a bit of a gungeon experience. Whether you've like, played a lot of it yourself, played a little bit, never seen it before in your life. Hey, it's one that you should seriously think about getting into. We're going to do hey, as much as a full run as we can. Um, mm, This is dodgy, right? Because this is a fused chest. Where if we don't open it, it will be destroyed. So... I'm actually going to open it. Oh, very nice. This is a superb weapon. The Void Core Cannon. 
Now, this will really test me, because this is a really good weapon to drop strat. There's a little strategy in the game where you drop the weapon on the floor, and then you pick it back up, and then you cut out all the reload time. And it's one of the best weapons that you can really do it with. Yep, that's perfect. We uh, got it done. So we've got an amazing weapon straight away. Hopefully, we get a key dropped on the floor. Otherwise, I might not be able to go what is known as the oubliette, the first secret floor. I've taken a risk. When it comes to the boss fight, if we've picked up a weapon in the floor, we can get an item out of the boss fight now. It's not guaranteed, but we can. But uh, again, hey, risks are in the nature of RNG, and I don't mind taking a risk. I don't actually mind if we don't do a full run, as long as I get a nice little experience today, you know? Show you a little bit about this game. Or, for those who... Back when we used to play it religiously, you know, have a little blast from the past. I want to find a shop. <laughs> I do always want to find a shop. Again, I love the pox cannon. It's a little dangerous to use because when you take down an enemy, you'll see the little poison on the floor. Yeah, that goop, that, that's, you know, that's goop that will stain me over time. Oh, we've got a green room. Those green rooms can be very valuable. They will have something in there, and I don't know what yet, but often they're very good. Often a shrine room, or maybe an NPC selling something, I think. Yeah. And I would use the void core, but it's perfect for the boss fight, so I'm going to save the ammunition. Oh, it's a locked room. Oh, no. I need many a key dropped. We can get keys dropped from the boss fight, and we might get an item, because to build well in this game, you need items, really. I mean, you need a good loadout of weaponry, but... As long as you're getting ammunition for a few good weaponry, you can be all right. And because we've got more curse, again, we've got nine curse. It's probably about 45% of enemies will be cursed. Jammed is what it's called, where they become harder. 50% of bot uh, just less than 50% of bosses as well will be jammed. And they have like 1.5 times HP. Oh, please, this has a 50% chance of giving me a key. Oh, it's a mimic. Very nice. It's not that nice. It actually... Brown chests that we get as drops don't require a key anyway, so... Oh, we get Doggo! Oh, pat, pat the Doggo, man! Let me pat him. Why? It should continually pat him. Is it because I'm flying? It must be because I'm flying. Yeah, you go. Oh, pat the Doggo! Very nice. Anyway. Yeah, we've got Wax Wings as a starting item, so... Ooh, no, that's gonna be the chest room. It could be fused once again, but Doggo has a 5% chance of any room I clear. Oh, that was a bit of a rip -in. We'll get less money out of this room now. Oh, give me keys. Oh my god. This is insane. Um, Galactal, Galactic Medal of Valor, that's like 15% extra damage or something like that. It's really good. We can sell things as well. Um, we'll see. We shall definitely see. But yeah, jammed enemies give you more money. But if we get hit in a room, we shouldn't get money from that enemy that we took out. At the very least. But yeah, we want to, just in case we, yeah, get the water, get that fire out. There's a secret little key behind it. Well, a lock, should we say. Hey, to this little thing where we need two keys to unlock it to go to Oubliette. This is troubling, in a way. But yeah, the Galactic Medal of Valor. Galactic Medal of Valor also, I think, may give you bonus damage against the boss fight. You get quicker reload, that kind of thing. Um, it's the unlocked item you get from the Marine. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything specific for the boss fight. We could try and find a secret room, but it's probably there. There's a very interesting pattern to secret rooms. Trying to find them, trying to unlock them. Could be here. Nah, it ain't. But it could also be in there. But we're going to take out this boss fight with impunity with our Void Core Cannon. Oh, it's, it's the twins. If we take out one of these twins, we enter the second phase. Oh, I dropped the weapon. There it is. Yeah, if we get hit during the boss fight, we do not have the ability to get what is known as a Master Round. Yeah, I need some blank. Those are... Oh, no. Oof. 
I've left a weapon behind. This should be fine. And I, again, I'm out of Paraxis. Take him out, take him out. Yes. So he goes all irate. Ah, now I got hit. That was a bit unlucky. But to be fair, again, I'm a bit rusty, so no shame. Keys, keys, keys. Oh, we get two keys. And Doggo picked me up some HP. Very nice. We also get an M1911. A very nice little weapon. Yeah, the hegemony crits. Yeah, if we leave stuff behind, a rat might come and take them. So I can go and buy a key. I can also buy the Galactic Medal of Allen. Courage increased. No, of course. Significantly increases damage dealt to powerful foes. So that might just be against bosses, actually. I can't remember. We're going the Oubliette, though. Again, you want to go as many floors as possible to get more and more of a loadout. And uh, we know this is going to be an item. This is guaranteed to be an item. Because you get one chest as a weapon, one chest is an item. Oh, great. It's brown. Um, A brown chest, that is. And it's not a mimic. Dog would bark at the chests. He's, an, he's a mimic identifier. I could open this. But if it was a shop, I don't really have the money anymore. I'd have to sell a bunch of stuff. But a brown chest item. Yeah, there's some good actives in brown chests. The problem is, I don't know where. Also, I don't have the blanks anymore to open up the secret room. Uh, the, 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 the tricky one. I do have a blank here I could buy. Mimic friendship? I'd rather not. Taking out the mimics ain't a problem. That would allow me to not have to fight mimics. Uh, da, 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 da. I had a chance to get key back. Oh, that's very nice. Table tech. Money. So if I flip tables now, I can get money from flipping tables. It's very nice. I need to go find every table and flip them all. Re oh, very nice. Let's have a gander at that. This is how we get paid. And this is why... We put in the effort, right? Also, I could just flip every table and then sell <laughs> the table tech money. For even more money. So many tables I haven't flipped. I normally love flipping tables, but it's kind of nice that I didn't. Oh, West. I shouldn't really be using this weapon to try and reveal a secret room. But there is no more spare key. I'm guessing the secret room was in there, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm comfortable moving forward. We've got flight. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things that I didn't get the heart. I'll buff myself with all sorts of powerful things as we move forward. Yeah, if I forget anything from my, you know, rustiness, it is what it is, you know. I'm not going to be putting in the world record performances of the past. And we might... Uh, uh, all right. I doubt I will perish, but the chance is there. Again, I used to streak this game and, like, was able to pull out streaks of... I can't remember what my Paradox Turbo... Because we're playing Turbo mode. If you see the top... Where is it? Oh, I, I think it's moved off screen, actually. There's meant to be a little bit of a... Uh... Where is he? Yeah, there should be a little... Tonic the Sledge Dog. I don't know where he is. He might be somewhere. Oh, no, it's there. Uh, yeah, in the map. Top right, you'll see a little doggo face. That's Tonic. Tonic the Sledge Dog. <laughs> you can find him and turn on turbo mode, which makes everything faster. So that became part of the streak, you know, doing what we did at the start in terms of cursing ourselves. Getting all these tricky enemies. Trickier enemies, I should say. And running turbo mode. And then running paradox. I can't remember what my streak was with those conditions. Yeah, I want some of that money. Okay. Yeah, we can dodge roll over bullets and... Uh... Hey, it's not always as easy as it sounds. Oh, come on. Yeah. Nice. Because certain enemies in this game, yeah, they're really tricky. 
some enemies predict your movement and just they move around in funky ways. I really shouldn't be using all the ammunition from my decent weapons. I'll keep some of the void core cannons uh, ammo. That's money. We're getting so much money. Uh, of course. Oh dear me, that's difficult. Ugh. Nice. Again, chaos reigns in this game. It really does. And I need ammunition. I need ammunition to drop. Nice! There's the ammunition. So I'm going to throw this weapon and then pick it back up. We've now tricked the game into thinking that we've picked up a new weapon this floor so we can get an item from the boss fight, hopefully. So that, uh, that greyish, kind of brownish ammo container was 50% ammo for the weapon I had out and 20% for every other weapon. Oh, we're flying. The goop won't poison me because I'm flying. Nice. So yeah, we can use the M1911. One of my favorite pistols in the game, to be honest. It's just got... It just feels powerful and kind of is powerful. It's not the most powerful, but I like a good feeling gun. Regardless of the stats. But again, being on light on your toes, knowing how enemies are going to react to you. Oof. Knowing how enemies interact with each other. You saw that grenade push the shotgun shell. Oh, how beautiful. Uh, the M1911 probably? Yeah. Shoppy. Ooh. We'll definitely get the key. And I could freeze enemies with this gun. And get more blanks as well. This could be a secret room. Doubt it, though. There isn't that much room on the map to hide a secret room. There is enough room, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, you've got to react quick and get in the room, take out as many people as possible before they start trying to take you out, you know? Well, it's not a mimic. And this is the crest. This is part of the second secret After this floor, we'll take it with us. It's a piece of armor that is always, you know, the one that is vulnerable from being taken from you. You know, if you pick it up, the next hit you take, that crest will be disappeared. And these blobs are cash money. If we, uh, you see the first one, that's jammed. The other one isn't. You can tell because the well, color difference, but also... The speed, but the jammed ones will give me money. The other ones won't. But a jammed big, a big jammed blob will spawn a, you know, a smaller jammed blob. And once they get really small, they will give you money. The jammed ones. But every time a non-jammed blob, the big one, splits. They have a chance to turn into a jam blob. So, oh no, I pushed him down. I didn't want to push him down. But we didn't lose much money though. It was only two small blobs. But yeah, the bigger ones don't drop any money. They just split. Oh, thank you for the blank doggo. 5% chance, baby. Oh, horrible little room if I don't. Get my axe together. Oh, I can fly. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, flying is kind of handy because pits in this game are horrendous. But yeah, the M1911 doing such good work. you got to trust in it. Yeah, you got to put faith in it. Yeah, but here's, I was discussing this the other day on stream, over on the Twitch stream. Which hopefully I'll have some... Oh, fair enough. Hey, some uh, content coming over onto the YouTube from. Just some nice little uh, stuff that I planned to do in a while ago. Bit of variety content. Oh, dear me. There we go. But I was saying the other day, even though somewhat like Lethal Company, which has really taken the world by storm, is, in theory and technically, a roguelike game. You could argue it's more rogue elements, but, you know. You could argue it's actually roguelike. Because um, there is no meta progression. That kind of thing, you know. Where there is meta progression in something like Gungeon, which is a roguelite. Although, the distinction, I don't really care about. I don't really, you know, I'm not too bothered. In the distinction, just the random elements and whatnot. 
Hey, that's what makes a roguelike game in the way. Yeah, we'll just uh, punish these guys a little bit. There hasn't been... And there has been also, you know, great games since Enter the Gungeon came out. Uh, we might have to open this. If this is a item, blue items can be superb. It's the weapon. It's a teapot. <laughs> it is. Also, amazing. Because we get a nice little extra bit of ammo. I get an armor. The problem is I can't open this, and it's not a mimic. We're going to have to go hopefully find more keys. I think this might just go into the boss fight, to be honest. Luckily, I can fly. This is a horrendous room. When you start in playing the game, you'll lose so much HP there because you've, you've got to actually make the dodges, you know? Hey, once you learn how to dodge that room, it does become significantly easier, but it's always going to hang over you as a room that just no one likes. Because you're just like a little twitch on the controller away from making a mistake. And to be fair, Enter the Gungeon, in my opinion, is a controller game. Playing with mouse and keyboard, uh, you've nerfed yourself on movement a bit. And moving, much like in Noita, is very important. You know, getting out of the way of shots. You can always get out of the way of shots and save HP. And that's the most important thing, because you can always... I mean, you might not always have the ammo, but you likely will. And you can always shoot again, but you can't always have the HP again, right? That's my policy. Uh, don't mind missing as long as I don't take the shot and lose the HP. Yeah. This is fine. We've earned so much money. We do have two chests. I mean, I could sell the teapot, but I kind of want a variety of weapons. It's just not a great weapon. You see that little circle? That will boil the enemy alive. Did I have... Oh, no, I threw my weapon, didn't I? So, yeah, we're ready for the boss fight. And this boss fight is always the same. Every time you go into a regular room... A regular floor boss fight. There's a chance to be one of a few. But this one is always the same. And, uh... Probably Pox Cannon. 130 should do the trick. This is Blob Lord. And he's jammed. Brilliant. He's got teeth. Yeah, he's got teeth in the picture. <laughs> Four-star general. Yeah, we can tox him. Yeah, not easy to always maneuver around in this fight, depending on how the shots come at you. But like these, for instance, trying to thread that needle all the time on the four different concentric circles. It can get confusing. Yeah, we've done great damage already. Galactic Medal of Valor and doing its job. Yeah, look at the teapot, man. Now, we can cheese this dude a bit. Push him up into the top wall here. Uh, it's not done it yet, but... I'm gonna need some ammo... For all my weapons moving forward. Ah, oh, stupid. Yeah, dodge... Right, that's a very good lesson. Dodging away from bullets is... Not gonna end well. Like, you never dodge away from bullets. It's a very, very good mechanical reason for doing so. Well, for not doing so, sorry. Oh, we get a mimic, though. And here's the thing. It doesn't actually matter getting hit in this boss fight. Unless you lose armor, which I did. So, a bit rough, that one. Yeah, mimic. We can get two bonuses out of this little dude. As a... You know, byproducts of having to fight them up. Ah, oh, Scooter. Ooh, got a synergy with the Void Shotgun. Ah, oh, beautiful. So, right, every time I reload this weapon, this orbital Void Cannon will fire. So, I just shoot one. Because I had 114 shots with a shotgun. So, I shoot once, reload. Shoot once, reload. And it just shoots the Void out. Now, this is Scooter. This gives me information about the enemy that I don't really want, to be honest. So I'm going to sell it. I'm going to pick it up and go here. Lord of the Jammed will follow me for now, but because I'm, cause it's a cursed item. Give me the money. Very nice. 
Now, I didn't get any keys, so I'm also destroying the chests. Oh, water cannon. Mega Dowser, sorry. <laughs> water cannon. Yeah, Mega Dowser is just a water gun, really. Oh, come on, Junkin. It's been a while. Ah, uh, no Junkin for me yet. Not yet. I think we're just good getting the armor. Yeah, I'm a little bit low on HP, but that's a consequence of me whiffing a few shots here and that. Hey, in the grand scheme of things, it should be all right. I'm actually going to get the Snowballer, mainly because it's synergized with the uh, Mega Bowser. Now, because I'm flying, the problem is if you aren't flying, you will slide everywhere on this ice. But it means I can freeze the enemy with my Mega Bowser now. And this Mega Bowser is actually really quite a powerful weapon. You just need to use it right. You need to wiggle, wiggle your shot like that. It's something about the surface area, I think, of the shot. Now, this dude will follow me around forever. If you have 10 curse, which we had 9, we picked up Sco Scouter. <laughs> I call it Scooter, but, um, you know, because of the band. Is it the band? Is it a band called Scooter? Back in the day, back when I was a teenager. I can't remember the name of the song, but, you know, meme-worthy. Uh, but he will disappear because I've sold the cursed item. We're back down to nine. Now, I've got the old crest. That will allow me, if I get it to a certain point in the next floor, to open up the secret floor. As long as I don't get hit. But we shall see. Now, we've got to go the right direction. Like, fighting useless fights is just risking my crest. But hopefully, we can just, uh, yeah, freeze the enemy like this with the Mega Bowser and take everybody for a bit of a ride here. Wiggle the shot. Now, if I get extra damage on my weaponry, you see, this is a mega situation for me. Oh, not these dudes. No, 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 no. Like, um... Those rubber bullets are actually horrendous. They move quite fast. They'll surprise you. Oh, Keyman. Oh, I got the keys, right? I got one key. Wasn't he jammed? No, he wasn't, actually. Yeah, freeze, everybody. I can also use this to freeze. And it does damage as well. All weapons tend to do damage. <laughs> yeah, freezing the enemy is such a powerful tool. Because when an enemy is frozen, they take tick damage. They'll be damaged while frozen. They need to be fully frozen. Right, who's... Oh, he's, he's up there doing the work. So, I'm going to get the rat key. It costs me a lot of money to get the rat key, but... It is another secret floor. Oh, keys, man. I do want the tangler, but I'm willing to also purchase the key now, just in case. Uh, the, oh, I nearly ran into the enemy. I can, I think I can run into a frozen enemy. Come on, take the damage. We get frozen again. Good. This is good. This is really good. And we're fine, pretty much. Beautiful. Can I please just find the crest room? So you see, synergies in this game... Are oh, seriously powerful. You just need the right ones at the right time. Who's doing what now? Oh, uh, ha, ha. let me just bum, 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 bum. Beautiful. Didn't even get a shot off. And we get some ammo for our trouble. Uh, probably on the Mega Bowser, right? It's powerful. I need it. Whoa! Yeah, enemies work in combination here. That major just killed will buff the enemy. That's why I wanted to take him out quite quickly. Nice. It's not a mimic of a chest. Means we would need a key to open it, which is a bit of a shame. Sometimes it's good to have mimics. Oh, um... I mean, these guys can... Ah, I'm going to blank that. Please stop. Please clap. 
<laughs> and this saw blade is going around. Yeah. Dodgy little room to keep my crest, you know? Very dodgy. I am overusing this weapon. I would like to get a bit more variety done, but... It is what it is. Oh, we haven't come the right way yet. Another non-mimic chest. We need a key for that as well. I need to find... The other chest room. Oh, this might be it. This might be good. Oh, nice. Yeah, these are guan stones. They offer protection from bullets. They do a good job now. Oh, dear. Luckily, I can fly and we can just maneuver. Yeah, fire around a few of those things. Just reload on purpose. Oh, we no, we just go to the boss fight. Great. Yeah, candles must go. Whoa! Oh, wall mimic! <laughs> um, wall mimic, man. Which will give me Litchy Trigger Finger. Means I can reload faster. Yeah, wall mimics give you an item or a weapon. As compensation for having to put up with them. Hey, this is a really good run at the moment. Uh, oh, what up? Hey! Yeah, lead maidens can be aggressive. But luckily, we know how to take care of them, and we get a key. Because we've got, like, optional chests we can open. I think we're going the right way to get this crest to where we need to be now. Come on, push them back. The reason I'm wiggling this is so I can hit everybody. Every enemy in the room. And push them back. I need to make room for myself, you know? Also, the wiggling seems to help with damage. Like, it's like a surface area thing or something. Like, this is good. I think it's just him. And the blob left. So unless there's more enemies spawned in here. We are fine. Yes. And that should be... I think I've got to open this. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, no. We put the fuse out with a water weapon. Yeah, ice works as well. Nice. So this is the room we're looking to get to with the crest. We give up the crest, but we get an armor to replace it. This could give me a key. as a 50% chance to give me a key. So yeah, with a wall mimic, all you need to do is head close to it, and it just this spawns out of nowhere and slams down on the ground with a bunch of bullets. So yeah, again, Gungeon and getting good at it is like riding a bike, you know. <laughs> yeah, get pushed off, mate. And again, the pushback... Like, there's so many ways in this game of discombobulating your enemy, making sure that they are, you know, feeling the pressure as much as you might be feeling it. Oh, we get another key. Because we, we've we already got the rat key. We don't really need mandatory money for anything else now. All right, can I buy both? Oh, I can't. I'm going to open up these chests, though. Ooh, very nice. I love the sunlight javelin. Literally everything in this game is a reference to something else, right? On some level. Now, this is a item. This could be an active. We haven't had an active yet. Oh, meat bun. That's double damage until I get hit. It's also a heal. Two HP heal, I think. But double damage until I get hit. That's good for the upcoming boss fight, because I need that master round, really. Now, boss fights, there are... There is a limit on the amount of damage you can do, but you can break that damage cap. Ooh. Synergized. Very nice. Oh, that's superb. Decorated. We can... There is another synergy with this, and if you have decorated and that other synergy, it's insane. It just goes so hard. Um... Probably... Yeah, we'll get the blank and hope we get enough money from the boss fight to sort ourselves out here. Yeah. So, that's where the wall mimic came out, by the way. So I'm going to go in with meat bun. Void core, reload. Oh, snake, how you doing, man? Ah, that was close. Yeah, this guy's going to make some blobs on the ground.
and I'm going to launch a lot of blanks. I need to delete those blobs. Otherwise, dude will run over them. And heal. Oh, he's healed. Oh, he'll move faster now, and that's really annoying. I've got no blanks left. Luckily, I can move faster. Oh, oh, oh. oh Litchy Trigger Fingers coming in strong there. Me reloading faster. I'm getting... Actually, no, I think Litchy might be rate of fire. Oh, that is an active. That makes me go invisible for a period of time. Well, until I fire again, actually, I think. Oh, that was a close fight. And again, it might be actually kind of hard to discern a lot of what's going on there. A lot of Gungeon... It's not like you're intuitively moving around, but in a way you are at the same time. Oh, the secret room is there, and I can't open it because I don't have any blanks left. Oh, I don't have any weapons that could open up the secret room either. We did get enough for Tangler, though. Why not? Yeah, hey, we'll just get a load of stuff. And I, I got the master round as well, so we perfected that fight. We did not get hit. And we still have the double damage from Meat Bun, which is going to be amazing going into the next floor. Yeah, I'm just going to have to say no to this secret room and get moving, you know. Go in the next place. There is one secret floor I won't go to because it's just dull and boring. But yeah, we'll go in with the Hedge Money Carbine. Welcome to the Abbey of the True Gun. And as long as we've got the Rack Key... We move forward now. All right, blast. Blast away. Yeah, certain enemies, you know, you need to kind of wait to move into... Like, those blobs need to move into their second phase before you can kill them. Oh, he's going to absorb my bullets. Hey! Yeah, this is such a good weapon with Meat Bump. Double damage. So, yeah, just kind of don't waste the ammunition. And we'll push forward. Yeah, flip the tables. Yeah, there should be two secret rooms in this floor. However, the boss fight is really quite tricky, so we'll have to play it by how we feel. Very nice. Again, just... Ripping the enemy apart, and we get a freaky, very nice from Doggos, 5% chance. Oh, we get an, another cell creep? I think I sell the smoke bombs. The actives can be reloaded through, you know, damaging the enemy, but I need the money, to be honest. Ah, you can steal the smoke bombs, and I don't really feel like it because we'd, uh, you know. I can't remember. I think, you get, I know you get cursed. But I can't remember whether you only get half a curse point, which would allow us to, you know, not have Lord of the Jam. Oh, those little dudes. They've got a dodge roll themselves. Those little gun dead. All right, man. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it's a mimic. Very nice. Free stuff. Ah! Ooh, ghost bullets. Ah, uh, that's not always great. It allows my bullets to go through the enemy. You know, it's like piercing almost. Nah, I've got a blank now. I was going to get hit. I don't want to lose my meat bump. Which, to be fair, is a bit of a shame because it might be harder to get the secret rooms now. And I might get hit more in the boss fight. But as long as I maintain some good HP here. Uh, it puts us in a really good position for later on, which is the whole point of what I'm doing right here, right now. Hey, Tangler, let's use that. We've only just picked it up, so... But look at the enemies when I take a shot. Oh, okay. Hold on. Are you being tangled? Oh, all right, that was a bit sketchy. Yeah, look at the spider. He's all tangled up, man. He's been all rectangulified. Oh, hello. Yeah, get some. Yeah, he's he's looking a little bit blocky though. Not looking well. Yeah, meat bun damage with a galactic. Ooh, spicy. One shot, one cool little takedown.
Uh, but we'll get a good amount of money again, as long as the enemies become jammed and... Is that a mimic? It is. It's a jammed mimic, which they run faster than the Flash. I mean, god damn. That's why we freeze them. And don't take... You know, no mercy on those. A uh, helix is a really good weapon. It's underrated, in my opinion. It goes really quite hard. And uh, no secret room there, but we'll find one. I just don't... I just hope the other secret room isn't just kind of... Uh, Locks away somewhere. Yeah, we'll uh, pox the pox the man. Hold on, what is Ghost Bullets doing? Oh, Grand Soul Bullets piercing, which isn't great for explosives. <laughs> you know, you want your explosives to explode on the enemy. Most of the time. That'll be how it goes down. Hey, Void Core. With a double damage. Should be alright. It's a moderately good shotgun. See, I hear the Void Core will actually shoot where I'm looking, not homing in as it normally does. Also, because it's on a rotation as well. It can be a little bit tricky to use, but that's why I normally use this in a boss fight. Just because the boss is normally really quite big, large, you know? So we can take advantage of that. Yeah, the sun here. Praising the sun. One sh it's a sniper rifle, basically. It's just a... Uh... Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, we get the void caught. I should have actually possibly thought about the carbine there, but... The only problem with this is... It does take a little while to reload? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh dear. Ah, no, leave me alone. <laughs> if a jammed one touches me, we get hurt, of course. Oh, beautiful. I normally get hit in these rooms. Mimic? No mimic. But... Alburn! Brother! Brother Alburn! My buddy old pal, old chum, old friend. Dancing away still to this very day. He's a good lad. Uh, we do have two keys. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just got rid of smoke bombs. <laughs> that is a bit rude. That's really quite rude right there. We'll sell it again. Make some money. Hey, for an item, you know. And we can buy another blank. We could actually get the plague pistol. $69 in my back pocket. Yeah, brother. I am Brother Alban, knower of several truths. If thou seekest to open my truth, test and pun my question thusly. Well, did you eat for breakfast? Punk slack, you. Verily, must be so. Receive thy reward, O truthful hero. And, oh, yes. This Heck Blaster is amazing. A ration gives you HP as well. You know, well, heal. Heck Blaster is so good because it unjams enemies. If I pew pew the you know an enemy with this, they will lose all their extra HP. They will unjam, and I can do that to bosses as well. So we go in all boss fights with this and just go, you know, spraying around a little bit. You've got to remember here we have the meat bun damage, and this is probably oh yeah, spray him and pray him. Oh take out his little friend. Yo. Yes. Oh. Have I dropped the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. When you slow down like this, time doesn't fully stop. You know? But yeah. Ah, I didn't mean to blank there. We've got no more blanks, so we're taking damage now. If we get hit. Of course, if we get hit, we're taking damage anyway. We just can't remove bullets off screen. Gotta remember it can fly, so fire isn't that bad. I'll actually maintain distance on this one. Yo! Ooh, that was... Oh, no, no, yeah, there we go. There's the double damage gone. Just gotta save the armor now. 
If I can. Go. And there we go. That should do it. Really? One more. There we go. And please give me a good item. Oh, I'm longing for a good item here. Ooh. Not bad. Key. I mean, it's a decent weapon. It's... It's all right. It's more just for show. Oh, I'll tell you what. This is a broken weapon, this. It allows me to charge through hell. And we're going to have a nice little, you know, ending to this run because we've got that chamber gun. But for now, we'll worry about going the rat, building out our loadout and causing extreme chaos. This crossbow here is actually superbly powerful. But you can only have it for this floor. It's a gun that... If you've got the master round for a floor, you can keep the weapon for the floor it is. Like, every time you go into a new floor, this gun will be able to be a different weapon. But then you'll lose it if you don't get the master round. And some of the weapons are really bad, some are really good. So it really depends. But this, uh, cobalt hammer, it's all right. It's not bad. Anyway, let's go. We've got business to attend to. So yeah, I'll use this and show you, because we can charge it up, right? Charge up and go and go, blah! <laughs> but I don't really like doing that. It's kind of weak source, to be honest. But you can also just, like, you know, singular shot. And to be fair, for si since it's got 60 ammo, nah. I do not want to heck blast the rooms. Because think about it. The, char the jammed enemies give me money, extra money, more money. Why would I want to? Why would I want a weapon that removes that? Now, if I absolutely have to, say I'm running out of HP, and I, I need to save HP, Heck Blaster can literally save your life in that regard. Oh, Rat Room, good. We're not going to get lost. I'm not going to spend time hunting out the Rat Room this time. Also, this would hopefully work. Where is it? Does that work? It should do. Uh, where is it? There it is. This is the rat room where we can get the little cellar. Yeah, I might as well use the blanks here. I'll buy more if, I, if they're available. One blank. Two blank. Rat key in there that we bought from the second floor. And we can continue. Knowing we can go every single secret floor. So this is, this, this is a full room. Even though I'm not going the fourth floor secret room. I just don't like it. I, mean, I, I still consider that a full run. In my book, you know. Mainly because the fourth floor secret room has no elements of roguelike kind of procedural generation to it. It's kind of annoying. That they, for their final update into the Gungeon, gave us a secret floor that didn't really have the elements of the game they made. Oh, good night armor. That is superb. That gives us... For every floor we go down, we get an extra piece of armor. I'm definitely going to buy the key. And we have two blanks. Yeah, I'll buy the two blanks and save them for the boss fight. Because I want them to mess around. Now, let's go in strong, though. Hey, I still have the shotgun. The shotgun's pretty dope. Hey, I mean, that room gave up quite easy, didn't it? Yeah, we don't have the double damage anymore. We got hit, remember? So, we've got to work a bit, a bit stronger now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're getting boxed in slightly. Yeah, how about no? Yeah, caused a bit of chaos with my orbital void core shotgun combination. <laughs> I'm not sure if the, these do actually aim, it seems. It's just that they being orbital kind of the original spawning point is a bit weird now this is a medic room you can tell because of the map up in the top left uh, uh, that's a medic room that'll be a full heal if I want it now you do get healed in the most metal way possible but uh, optional fight room very nice let's do it mainly because I can just stand here and do this freeze everybody cause them extreme debilitations yeah I've got to charge up each shot and throw it and it is pretty slow 
in, you know, certain regards. Ooh. Yeah, I do love this nice little pew pew. It works. It does its job. And we got one more. Oh, no, we don't have one more face. What have we got? Oh, very nice. Hedge money rifle. So I got the combination. I think. Right. It should turn red. Nah, I'm thinking of something else. I, oh, I'm thinking of the, I'm thinking of the red guanstone synergy. Hey, but having the hedge money laser wipe because it normally is just a bullet gun, but now it's a laser gun. It's very nice. Yeah, let's get some use out of it. Eh? It's so nice when you can fly. You know, you just save so much time. And of course, a lot of the rooms we go in, we know where a lot of the enemies are going to spawn. So we can just take them out really quick. One of the benefits of replaying the game. Because again, if you can take out enemies quick, and then they don't shoot you as much. Well, it's not a mimic. I've got the keys, but I'll put it out first. What is this? Ooh. Now, this lady would curse me. Where I would, uh, you know, have to suffer. Lord of the Jam. And I'm not really about that lifestyle, to be honest. I don't really want to. Could be a secret room here. It's all dark in here. It's all darkness, you know. Not a fan. Ooh. We've got so many decent weapons. Again, another shotgun. Pulse cannon. Yeah, if we get one more increase of... Oh, okay. If we get one more increase of damage... That damage is through the roof. I feel like we're just on the cusp of amazing amounts of damage, you know? I think the ghost bullets are doing a good job in saving ammo, allowing me to... Utilize all my weapons really nicely. Of course, I've got so many weapons anyway that any time I refill the ammo with the gray well, slash brown ammo, the 50 to 20% ammo uh, pickup. That I just never really run out of ammo because I've got so much of it. Oh, doggo, thank you very much. I don't need it, but it's appreciated. Right, doggo, come on. Oh, it's not a mimic, but we get a chicken. <laughs> chicken damage, man. Chicken does contact damage. Also, there is a synergy where chickens can get enraged. Nice. Nice little secret room. Ooh, prehistoric. Because I can fly. This can just set the floor on fire. Now, this can be really quite bad to use. If I set the floor on fire, it's harder to see incoming bullets. But... If I wiggle the shot... And everyone's burning. You know, enemies just take supreme amounts of damage, though. Hey, it's certainly a very usable weapon if you're flying. Even if you're not, if you're back into a corner and use it correctly. Yeah, it's pretty... I was saying that everyone's flying in this room. You see, you just can't really tell what's going on. Apart from the fact everyone just perished really quickly, one after another. Go! Go! <laughs> about no? You're not getting a shot off on me. I res I resist you, I refuse. We got a lot of money. Uh, good night, we'll take it. And um, we're really good for HP and armor now. Boss fight time. And then we'll go rap. So, yep. Heck Blaster. Oh, it's Door Lord. It's going to be always oh, jammed as well. It's going to be really hard to get the Master around. Yep. Door oh, he's starting off with that, eh? Ah, oh, pressure blank. Chickens advance. Oh, he's doing that, eh? No, of course. He found a way to hit me. Yeah, that rotational shot. He just did the laser. Um, if I'm not close to him. 
I can't see how fast the laser's rotating around. It's really hard to judge, you know? Either way, it's not too bad. We'll make up for it with the, the armor we get from the Good Knight armor. Yeah, let's not forget that. A really tricky fight. One of the ones that can really end a streak. Can really uh, ruin trying to get Lead God, which is all five master rounds in a row. All five bosses being perfect. Isn't this uh, cursed? Isn't that cursed weapon? I think. Yeah, it is, but... Banger tunes! It goes on longer than you think. It sounds like it's already repeated, but it hasn't. You know, there you go. <laughs> yeah! Chicken and doggo. I'm loving it. And then it runs out of ammo. Typical. But it was just about to, you know. Hey, I'll leave that here. I don't want that weapon, to be honest. I don't want the curse associated with it. Because I don't want him following me around. But I think we're on the Dr. Doodoo save file. I'll double check. Because we're going to a place where... You don't... You have to earn, basically. And you have to open up chests and get little hints about the uh, way to go. So it's... The cheese is pointing down, right... Down, up, down, up. So that spells out Dr. Doodoo. -doo. Like, do -da down, right, down, up, down, up, you know? You get it? I do. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, da -da -da -da. There's nothing else. We're pretty, pretty good on everything. We've got ration as well, so we can always heal. So we go to the rat place. Do the rat thing. Right, so we enter a maze. This is where we needed the clues, right? So down. Oh, empty room? Very nice. Oh, I would love some ammo. Down, right. Oh, no. Bit of a dodgy little start there. Yeah, I got one of the lead maidens. Very nice. It's easy to forget how far you are through the maze. Down, and then up, down, up. Ah, beautiful little uh, room. Uh, I mean, maybe, just maybe this will work for me this time. Oh, dear. Are you going to reload? There you go. Now it's up, down, up. Don't forget, up, down, up. <laughs> yeah, spiraling... You can have enough firepower on some runs where you just hide in the corner and blast away here. It can happen. Up. Oh, these dudes. Yeah, I'm going to unjam them. They're a massive pain in the ass. Just takes ages as well. How do you? All right. Yeah, they're all... Right. Bam, 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 bam. Nicely cleared. Hey, some really good dodge work as well, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, hedge money. Did I just come up? I think I did, right? Yeah, we, we're, we're righteous. Yeah, I need to fire out in front of me. Up. Ah, uh, uh, we made it. Nice. Now, is there any ammo which needs a proper refill here? Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, actually, no. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Pox cannon isn't the most strongest piece of equipment. Uh -huh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, probably pox cannon. I kind of want to push these hearts 
into the fight. Even though it looks like they disappear, they don't. This can be a really uh, tricky fight. I mean, with our firepower, I think we're doing all right. So we just push it forward, push, 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 and launch it in. There it is. We'll do the same with this one, actually. Since we've only got four heart containers overall. Uh, hopefully this has uh, been a nice treat, though. Uh, rejoining us in the Ganjin. Uh, Doggo's rejoined me. You know, a chicken. A shame about, uh, hopefully, at some point. Junkin will show up. Uh, the main protagonist of <laughs> Gunchen. Oh, he ain't even jammed. I want to get rid of that little jam rat, though. There we go. Yeah, I can suffer contact damage because of them. Yeah, hegemony. Blast them. I'm sorry. Like, the pressure blank situation is really uh, quite bad here. What is, a pressure blank is, you don't mean to blank, but you did. <laughs> yeah, our fire power, nearly half HP, so... Oh, you don't... No, you don't... Oh, how do we get away with that one? Oh, come on, yeah, flawless, baby. That puts us in superb position for the second phase. Let's do this thing. And again, of course, the Metal Gear Solid references are so numerous in this game. This one being one of the more on-the-nose ones. Um, <laughs> but I think there's more Metal Gear Solid references in this game than literally any other reference. But he's, he's jammed. He's trying to be cheeky. We just unjam the man. Right then. Um, I think we just do the same. Actually, no. Oh, no, no, no. I need to mix between because we do... We ain't always fighting... Ah, uh, that's uh, such a good weapon, though. I want to get rid of that radome up there. Just like in the... Uh... <laughs> you don't actually have to do this. It just turns out to be the actual thing to do. You... There's a railgun in the top left. You don't actually want to get rid of that. There we go. That's why we want to get rid of it. It not only stops an attack currently in progress, but... Chickens advance. Yeah, chickens are on the go now. Uh, yeah, now we switch to this. Oh, no, we don't, because... Uh, <laughs> why? I don't want to be dealing with all these doggos. Oh, we, uh, we're fine. Yeah, do some drop strand. Oh, no, wrong. It doesn't matter. There's no mass around for this. We just lost an armor. No worries. Now yeah, we're done anyway. With minimal loss. To pride or ego. And now we're gonna milk and rinse this boy. We're gonna wait till his back's turned, you know? Cocky man. Let's see if I remember how to do this. It's been a while. There we go. Oh, med kit. I do not need a med kit. Thank you very much. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Guance. Oh! Not only the Patriot, but the Cactus Gun. Got a stretch in between rounds. Oh, come on, flawless. Come on, what are you doing? You glitched out, man. Ah, right, he's just... Right, perfect. He made it easy for me, though. Is that angry bullets? I think that's angry bullets. Come on, flawlessness. Yeah, let's take the opportunity. <laughs> Got ya! It's actually quite hard to... Yeah, flawless, baby! Oh, no! Super hot watch! Oh, it's not a great... I think it's an S tier. I, don't, I can't remember if it's an A or S tier uh, item. Items have ranks in this game. That's why you get different colour chests. We definitely... Oh, no, it's the M16. Very nice. Got shooty, bang bang, and grenade launcher. That bounces. Um, I don't... I was saying that medkit is better than the ration. That's angry bullets, right? Angry with ghost? No, it's homing bullets. Homing with ghost? Not bad. <laughs> nah, you're going down, man. Super hot watch stops time. When we move, time goes at normal speed. But when we stop, time stops. So you get kind of thinking time to just slowly move out of the way. Well, I shouldn't have really picked it up. 
it's going to make it harder for me to find better things. Because there is a rarity kind of limiter in the game. Where if you pick up a rare item, it can then be harder to find more rare items. Although, that doesn't always ring true, even though it does have a system in the game. Yeah, 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 it seems your face. Basically, that's just a big your face joke. Oh, look at it. <laughs> that face. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I mean, big weaponry. <laughs> Need to pose. Need to pose for the camera, you know? What's a good weapon for that? I mean, I don't know what that big puff of smoke below me is. Oh, he's done for. He's down. Yeah, we talked to him. He's done. Right, what ammunition do we need? Yeah, probably 50% on that, and we used Hedgemonit. Hedgemonit. Uh, none of them are mimic. I never take the Ementala. It's such a cheesy weapon. Like, I'm actually not actually uh, trying to make a joke, though. Right. I'll take everything else, because it helps us uh, do what we do here. Yeah, if you want to fight the advanced dragon, which, to be fair, I'm not the biggest fan of the fight because there's no reward for doing so. You know, if you're going to make me fight a harder boss, reward me for him. I ain't got that. It's so much harder to get the master out. Yeah, we're rocketing towards the end now. Anyway, that M16. Again, we're not going this fourth floor secret room. If I bump into it, I'll show you how, but... Yeah, Super Hot Watch, it, it, it's just jarring, really. Considering. Yeah, the homing on that, that's interesting. Isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to drop it. To be fair, the um, rat won't come and steal it because he's been killed. <laughs> he's been offed. Where? I'm sorry, what dropped? Where? I'm sure some... Uh, must have been money. Yeah, this weapon's just a bit too slow for me. I need speed. Yeah, it feels weird now. Even for a split second using... <laughs> the Super Hot Watch. It just feels weird now. I've got, like, full speed again. Yeah, Ghost Bullets can be really handy in terms of... Like, this little big panda reaper up there, if I shoot him, he's basically invulnerable, right? But if I shoot him, my bullets won't go through him. Which is a shame. Yeah, as you can see, though, we are ferocious at this game and will not be stopped. I mean, we very rarely were stopped. We did lose streaks now and again. But again... We got a 23 streak in, well, I think it was Paradox Turbo Hero Shrine Challenge Mode. Which, again, the closest any of the other professional Enter the Gungeon players got was 5, I think. When we got to 23. That was a, that was a messy week, that rocket-powered bullets, 15% extra damage, and speedy shots going super fast. So, yeah, that, you know, sometimes you just get in the zone and do some miraculous stuff. That record will... That'll never be broken, in my opinion. Not enough people play Instant Gungeon anymore. Or Streak it, which is a bit of a shame. But it is what it is, you know. Times move on. Things change. Life is uh, water, not stone, you know. Yeah, rocket. I mean, we were looking for more damage. And with our rocket-powered... Bullets, now we get rocket power maneuverability in terms of feeling like we can just blast away. Take no prisoners. No, we haven't used the triangle that much. Yeah, it's not really a great weapon to use. In... Yeah, we don't need the money that much anymore. Um, I don't really want to waste... Yeah, I just grab the ammunition. I don't think I really need to be that precious about it, to be honest. But remember, this is the hard mode as well. <laughs> I mean, it's not the challenge mode or blessed mode, but again, we did make the enemies harder for ourselves in terms of just straight damage they can do to us. Oh, the combine. 
It's such an in... Um, I kind of want to buy both weapons. I definitely want this next master round. But no, the combine is broken. If we do this, we get... It's got two, two different types of shots. This takes 10 energy. And, you know, half-life reference. But then it's got bullets as well. So if we... All right, I, want, I would like to fight, you know, in a fighting room. Thank you. If I shoot the orb, don't reload the weapon. Drop it before it reloads. Ah, because I've got quicker reload, it's kind of hard, actually. I can shoot multiple orbs in a row because they are so damaging that you just, you just want to shoot the orbs, really. Although the combine by itself is such a nice sounding weapon. Oh, he ran over me. Yeah. And I've got homing as well, so those combine orbs, they're going to do an extremely good work for me. Yeah, we're looking to... Yo. Yeah, it's just... The homing is insane. It's just hugging them. Of course, every time a shot goes through the enemy... It loses 50% of its effectiveness. Which is a bit of a shame. I'd love to see it. <laughs> the amount of power you could get if it didn't. Yo! Oh, he's... He's on one. Ah, that's a mimic. Ooh! Ooh, the Colt 1851! One of my favourites. Mainly because of a synergy it has. It has a very powerful synergy that basically gives it so much extra ammunition. Hey, who is it? Is it? Oh, it's Blocky. Block now. Hey, uh, uh, yeah, we'll go with the Old West. We'll Colt 1851 him. With our home and Colt, you know? <laughs> I'm not sure that is uh, historically accurate, but... Good weapon. He's got his Blocky shot, you know? <laughs> Now I've got me Cole. With the rocket power shots. Again, not sure that was standard issue, but... I could have given me a chest game. What are you doing? But again, we're going to... Oh, nah, it'd be fine. Yeah, I would want to sell a master round and a few items here. As long as you sell a master round. Any master round. And you sell three or... I think two or three items. You can get to the other secret floor. So that's what you would do. I'm not doing it because, you know, I'm a sane person. I could sell Super Hot Watch for the money and buy Pro on Black Pack, which has been upgraded to Synergize with Electron Pack with the Ghost Bullets. It would give me little liches, little dudes who will come and fight with me. It's all right. Yeah, it's actually kind of semi difficult to sell Super Hot Watch because time stops when you're holding it. Ah, no, I was thinking of something different, actually. Because when she drops it, you drops it. You don't have it anymore. Are you serious? Oh, no, one of those is a $50. No, that's about to say. Any secret room around these parts? Nah. It don't matter. We're in for a boss fight. And I haven't been using my, you know, my partially eaten cheese or my sack. You know what? Depending who this is, Helix might be a really good choice. Huh? Yeah, why not? We haven't used it and I uh, really do rate the gun. Now, this is actually one of the easiest boss fights in the game. In my humble opinion. This is all about intimidation from the enemy, right? Yo! I've always said this. Anyone who used to watch me enter the Gungeon will remember me saying often and loudly, Gungeon works off intimidation. Enemies are scary sometimes, like Anaconda and Kill Pillars. They work because they scare you. They intimidate you. Uh, call 1851 this man. And that makes it seem harder than it actually is. It's a really good, interesting game mechanic. Intimidation, you know? It's one thing you don't hear about in reviews in roguelike games and games in general, right? I mean, you might do in horror, stuff like that, but, like, 
a mechanic of intimidation to make you worse at the game, you know? Or to make you find it harder to learn how to kick ass, you know? Because it seriously does operate like that. I swear down. I promise you. Kill pillars are the easiest boss in the game. You know? Easy master round. You, all you have to do with kill pillars is get into a position, move, like, dodge roll over a bullet, move down, dodge roll over a bullet, move down, dodge roll over a bullet, move down, and do, keep on doing that till the circle ends. Move over here, then move around in a circle, blasting them. Dodge a few bullets like you saw what I did, right? Easy. Fifth floor, baby. But again, we're gonna go for that dragon. I wanna find the shop. I wanna go find my chests. Hey, what are you dodging? Yeah, hedge mode, the standard issue for the Empire, you know. Yeah, sometimes homing can make you miss. Uh, it's weird. Have like a paradoxical miss. Oh, dear me. You serious? Yeah, it was. Super serious. Yeah, oh, Lichy trigger fingers, rate of fire. It's not reload. I don't know if I said reload before. Maybe it did. Oh, there he is. He's running away from me. Because it's one of the... It, there isn't the most amount of increased rate of fire stuff in the game. Hey. Yeah, the bow. Terrible weapon. That's actually saved one of my streaks before. No, that was the Charmed Bow. Which I wouldn't be surprised if I got in this floor. Because it's almost uh, universal that you find Charmed Bow in a room. If you have a good enough loadout, the game will be like, Oh, here's Charmed Bow to equal everything out. Because Charmed Bow isn't a powerful weapon. But it's got a powerful mechanic of turning enemies to friends for a while. Which has saved one of my streaks before. I can't deny it, even though I dislike the weapon. Yeah, that was a bit of a flex one. It just <laughs> don't even care about the dodge. Just jump on through the room. So this is where you're looking to become in Enter the Gungeon. An actual warrior who can just maneuver at will, taking out everybody. Without even... I'm not even thinking, really. You know, I'm just doing. This is just man of action kind of stuff. And losing HP ain't a big deal. Purple. Ah, gun munch. Not a fan. Doggo, I need your input. Oh, he's fine. Oh, the second piece of armor. To be fair, it would have been nice if you'd given me the others earlier. Doggo. Oh, planetary. Yeah, Dr. Accretion Jr. If we miss a shot, the orbitals go round and round and round. Very interesting weapon, though. A bit slow, but uh, yeah. the homing makes it a little bit broken. The fact that you know Jupiter, you can just also stand near the enemy with your orbitals and take them out really quite easy. Charge up before you go into a room. Try not to destroy a chest. Oh, Gita! We can put an amplifier down in the middle of the room. <laughs> so good. Jam out. I mean, I should probably aim. <laughs> Actual riffin, good riffin, you know. You gotta respect the uh, the guitar work, the finger work, you know. Hey, what are you doing, lad? Trying to aim at me? I aim at you. Nah, uh, yeah, you're not doing that to me, sir. Chasing me with a little psychic mage shot. Can I find the shot, please? I think I've deserved it. Ah, there's the boss fight.
Again, I'm just looking for the shop in both chest rooms. Anything more than that isn't really worth it. I don't need the money. Probably. Well, we'll find out what's in the shop. If I needed the money, we'll utilize it. Ah! Chaos Bullets is insane. Because Chaos Bullets allows you to get literally every modification, mostly, randomly attached to your bullets. That can backfire sometimes, but we've just been given literally every status effect change in the game on, you know, a weapon like this that shoots out a lot of bullets. That's going to impact the enemy quite significantly. <laughs> but I also get ex like sometimes I'll get more damage because we'll get heavy shots, fat shots, that kind of thing. Maybe triple shot, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's just all the different modifications. Ooh, Synergy Lady. Oh, let's see. Got the perfect match for you. What do you think? Yeah, 65. Well, let's hook, yeah, hook me up, baby. Let's do it. Right, please give me the Synergy. Oh, give me Red Guanstone. Nah. Oh, explosive bullets. Oh, this is insane. I already have Chaos Bullets, which could give me explosive bullets. <laughs> but now I mean why is the music still going for the uh, the fight yeah I want I'll tell you what something like this hey I mean the RNG of the explosives is a little bit weird I mean, some of my shots are now bouncy because that's the kind of RNG you get with the Chaos, right? But you can see it most prominently with this. Kind of, you know. Where just all the difference of the shots being all different colours and whatnot. Not the most uh, diverse, but we do get some good change. Right then, I want this master round. I want to earn it. Drag on. How you doing, bro? Raw, yeah, I will not I will not let you rot. So yeah, what I think will happen, I'll be shooting so much that my explosive bullets might end up just chaining. And kinda reload? We don't Nah. Um, if I had mahogany with a certain synergy, you can kind of get enough explosives that it just chains them up. And because it can only play a certain amount of explosions per second, uh, <laughs> even once you stop shooting, you can just kind of hear the explosions for minutes afterwards. This is a blank. Unless we stop the fight, move it into phase two, and now we've got a dodge roll for victory. Uh, what do I want to use? This will work. Chickens. Get in there, lads. Beautiful. Maybe? Ah, oh, no, I don't draw. I should have cheesed. <laughs> yeah, you gotta use the blanks. They're there for a reason. Yeah, good diagonals, and I do like doing that normally. You know what I mean? Dodge rolling it. I mean, blanks aside. Beautiful. Yeah, we might not have got all the master rounds, but we can get the most important item in the game, ladies and gentlemen. The obsidian shell casing. And now, since we've worked so hard all run, I think I'm entitled to... Get to Lich ASAP, to be honest. And enjoy the fruits of my labor in terms of all of the uh, modifiers I've got for my weaponry and whatnot. Right then. So we can turn this into a, ch a chain gun, basically. And uh, it's kind of broken. I can't remember how you unlock this gun. But it's, uh, 
one that exists in the game. You, you actually get it far too much, in my opinion. It should have been uh, a lot rarer. Oh, insulting that he got me, you know, really. Kind insulted. Yo. Cheese the man. Uh, to be fair, playing fast and loose is what I do in hell anyway, so I want to make the lich fight a bit fairer when I get that. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about this gun being in the game in terms of, you know, you do earn the right in a certain way to, like, the finished gun is also overpowered. The cheese gun is overpowered. It's a pr it was one of the problems with the final updates. They did add a load of things that unbalance the game but on the other hand you don't have to use them i don't use them so you know there is that it's optional so i can rebalance the game for myself so is it really bad that people get fun with them hell no but i think they should have considered you know if it was wise I suppose it all depends on the unlock, right? How you unlock it. Like, having cheesy weapons is no, uh... You know, there's no shortage of overpowered weapons in difficult games. At all. But to be able to clear through hell, I mean, I'm also not taking care of myself, right? <laughs> I'm just charging through. And I barely took any damage. Compared to the damage I normally would have taken getting through all of there. Hey, it really depends, because sometimes you can flawless the entire place. Sometimes, well, you'd be half a HP getting to Lich, or die beforehand. Right, boss fight time. And we do have Chaos, so Cactus, I kind of want to use Hegemony again. Hmm. <laughs> now we did the first phase with teacups love always jammed but i'm comfortable being all you know chaos bullets and explosive bullets and whatnot that they'll do the job i've got homing as well so the other enemies here brings in. Shouldn't be that problematic. Oh! Nah. One dodge roll too far, though. Nah, I'm not the most powerful here. Taking out his friends. And we got the cheese as well, so if we dodge roll, we can just apply extra damage, to be honest. And we've got to dodge roll through certain shots. Actually, no. Um, chicken can block shots. <laughs> Chicken's advance! Oh, we've got a friendly. Yes. The loving teacup. Ah. That's what I get for using teacups. <laughs> Not teacups, um, teapots. There's a difference in them. Charge! <laughs> yeah, char charge into him for the damage. Didn't really work out like that, but. Alright, teapot for that. Yeah, praise the sun. A phase two. Chicken and doggo. Barely believe it. Barely believe what they're witnessing. Jammed again? If I get triple jammed, that's just insulting, really. Do you know who I am, game? <laughs> I can fly. What are you doing? There you go. Has he been slowed down? I think he has, you know. I think my modifier slowed him down. Subtly. Kinda. Chickens going in. Chickens are doing such good damage as well. They normally always do. Right. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. That's how you dodge that one. I think chicken might have been a bit of a favor there. Uh, 
Yeah, I really love that homing cheese. Yeah, that was always going to be a problem coming in during that phase. What are you doing? Oh. Right then. Is it triple jammed? Or is he going to puss out at the last moment? No! Pussed out. <laughs> yeah, entangled a man. You know what? We need water for our teapot. Oh, we slowed him down, Renus. And all sorts of modifications. Yeah, choose. There you go. <laughs> oh, yes. Then cheat. Hold on. Maybe we just cheese. Maybe we just get 30 cheese and see what we can do that. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. And that has been Enter the Gungeon, my friends. Hey, always amazing to return to a bit of Gungeon. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the show. Hey, like I said at the start of the video, if you um, do enjoy the content we put out, yeah, leaving a like on the videos we put out really does us a favor. Also, subscribing if you haven't done so already for more roguelike and video game content and some other variety content from time to time. For your consideration. Again, the fact you considered this video, hey, it means a hell of a lot to me. Hey, you can check us out live at twitch.tv forward slash Let's Suffer Together. Join us for some great interactive entertainment, whether we're playing Noita, Enter the Gungeon. Well, I need to get some variety on the old stream with Gungeon, Undermine, and some of the old classics. I need to get back into Risk of Rain 2, Slay the Spire, all great games, of course. Hey, get down in the comment section if you have anything to say about any parts of the video you'd like an explanation on or just got questions about or just want to comment on it in general. Oh, what a run, though. Always a superb, superb game to build a run on, you know? Feel powerful at the end of it. But, of course, you can also, like the people at the start of the video, the names you saw there, click the Join button down below and become a renegade today. Contribute once a month and help support the content. Say you don't want to do a once a month kind of deal. Hey, you can always drop a singular contribution through the coffee link down in the bottom left and in the description of the video. The co slash fi forward slash LST suffer. And follow that and help support the content. What we do is uh, all appreciated and all really help support what we do. Until next time, thank you so much for your consideration. The quick restart, return to breach, evil banished is slowly going to maneuver itself away. <laughs> it's, uh, never got fixed in the final update. Never got patched. You take it easy, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch up with you soon. Much love. Peace. Hey, but a big thank you also to the pounders, the other selection of people who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Again, it all adds up. It's all hugely appreciated. Thank you so much for your consideration. I'll see you all next time. Good luck. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.